So, BMW unveiled what might be its most important car of the decade. And it's not a supercar, not a 7 Series flagship, not even an M car. It's the new 2026 BMW iX3. And this thing isn't just another electric SUV. It's the first production model on BMW's brand new Neue Klasse platform. Think of it as BMW pressing the reset button on how their future cars will look, drive, and feel. Now, I know what you're thinking. The iX3 already exists, right? Yes, but that was basically an electric version of the gas-powered X3. This, this is ground up EV. Brand new design, brand new software, brand new battery tech. It's the one that's supposed to set the stage for the next 40 BMW models. And here's the kicker. It's coming to the US in 2026 with a starting price around $60,000. That's less than the six-cylinder X3 M50 gas model. Honestly, I didn't see that one coming. So let's talk looks first. BMW says this SUV sticks pretty closely to their Vision Neue Klasse X concept from 2024. And you can see it. The vertical kidney grille is back, but slimmed down and paired with twin headlights that nod to the old 2002 series. It's futuristic, but with little retro DNA sprinkled in. The profile is sharp, angular, clean. You've still got the Hofmeister kink, but otherwise it's not trying too hard. And at the back, you've got a recessed tail section and slim tail lights that really stand out. BMW also worked the aerodynamics hard here. The drag coefficient drops from 0.29 to 0.24. Doesn't sound huge, but that's the kind of detail that gets you a longer driving range. Oh, and if you want something sportier, M Sport packages are still in play. You can spec bigger wheels, blacked out trim, blue or red calipers, even an illuminated grille. Step inside, and this is where things really change. The whole dashboard is dominated by what BMW calls panoramic iDrive. Basically a long, pillar-to-pillar -pillar screen tucked under the windshield, paired with a 17.9-inch central display and an optional 3D head-up display. It looks like a spaceship compared to today's X3. And yeah, climate controls are baked into the screen now, but BMW kept a few physical buttons gear selector, volume, wipers, stuff you actually need to hit quickly. The steering wheel? It's rocking touch-sensitive buttons now, which always splits people. We'll see if it's more intuitive than annoying. Options? You can go for a Harman Kardon system, a panoramic roof, three-zone climate, and BMW's new Hyperson X sound effects. Yes, this EV actually gets curated driving sounds. Space-wise, it's bigger than the last iX3. More rear seat room, a 30 cubic foot trunk that expands to 65 with the seats down, and even a little frunk. Not Tesla big, but definitely useful. Now here's where it gets nerdy. BMW says the iX3 runs on four super brains. These are high performance computers that handle everything from driving dynamics to infotainment to driver assist systems. One of them is called the Heart of Joy. It's literally in charge of your throttle, brakes, steering, and energy recovery. It's designed to make sure the car always feels like a BMW, even though it's fully electric. Another unit handles self-driving stuff. The standard ADAS package is solid, but if you option in Highway Assistant, you can get true hands-off driving for extended stretches. And the way BMW describes it, your inputs don't cancel out the system. It blends your driving with the car's AI in real time. That could make assisted driving feel a lot less clunky. And yeah, it's a software-defined car, meaning it'll keep getting updates over time. Okay, numbers time. The launch model is the iX350 xDrive. Dual motors, all-wheel drive, 463 horsepower, 476 pound-feet of torque. 
0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. Top speed, 130 miles per hour. Not mind-blowing on paper, but plenty quick for an SUV this size. BMW is also giving you drive modes, sport, efficient, silent, and personal. So you can go from a quiet cruiser to a sharper drive, depending on your mood. Here's the stat that'll get Tesla owners to look twice. 400 miles of EPA estimated range. That's huge. Probably even more under Europe's WLTP testing. And charging? The Neue Klasse runs on 800 volt architecture with up to 400 kilowatts DC fast charging. You can add about 230 miles in just 10 minutes, or go 10 to 80% in 21 minutes. That's faster than most current EVs on the market. It's also got bi-directional charging, so you can power your house or send juice back to the grid. Plus the new NACS connector with a CCS adapter. And the charging port flap? It opens automatically with sensors. Because BMW loves that kind of detail. Now, about that $60,000 starting price, it undercuts the gas X3 M50 by a few thousand bucks, and it's going to land right in the middle of some tough competition. Tesla Model Y Performance, Audi Q6 e-tron, Porsche Macan EV, Mercedes GLC EV, Volvo EX60. So BMW isn't aiming to be the cheapest, it's aiming to be the most BMW option in the space. And keep in mind, this is just the start. A rear-wheel drive single motor version is coming, and you know M Division won't sit this one out. So expect a high-performance MIX3 eventually. This car matters because it's the very first Neue Klasse production model. By 2027, BMW says nearly 40 new or refreshed models will be built on this platform. That's wild. Sedans, SUVs, all electric, software driven, and full of these super brains. As BMW's CEO put it, this is a huge leap for the company. And if the iX3 delivers on its range, charging, and price promises, this really could be the turning point where BMW finally feels ahead of the curve in EVs. That's the 2026 BMW iX3 50X drive. It's got the looks, the brains, the range, and maybe even the right price to make people say, yeah, BMW's back. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more deep dives into the cars shaping the EV space, go ahead and hit the like, drop a comment on what you think of the new iX3, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more coming. So today I want to show you also how we actually position our intelligent personal assistant as the holistic intelligence in the car. Um, that we do on the one hand uh, by actually making a speech interaction um, with our voice assistant more powerful than ever before. But also we're helping customers to, uh, to fit their car to their needs uh, by creating individual routines which should help them to enhance their daily drive. Uh, let's have a look at how you can actually create that. So if I go to the personal assistant app and go to the routines tab, you see that we have two routines at the moment. One is start of journey and one is for arrival at home. Uh, in the future, we will actually curate here more and more routines and give customers the possibility to adjust uh, their drive even more. For today, let's look at start of uh, journey. Um, what you see here is a hand curated list of functionalities that customers can actually adjust to their liking which will then um, be directly started when they jump into the car um, through either a single press of the button on the steering wheel or through saying yes please. For now, I'll actually only enable that it switches to sport mode and activate the routine in this menu. So if I now go here and I start my journey, we will see that the assistant is coming up and it's suggesting that the routine should be started and I can simply accept it by pressing the yes button. <laughs> and we see we're jumping to sport mode. Um, if customers are actually doing certain changes very often, you can, we can even um, enhance their routine over lifetime. I'll for now actually set up the start of routine, a uh, start of journey routine. 
And you see here the hand curated list of functionalities that we currently support. Um, for example, you can turn on your seat massage at the beginning of your ride. Or if uh, you're in a living in a cold area in the winter, you can also directly start the defrost function. For now, I will actually use the speed limit warning functionality and turn it off when I jump into the car. I'll activate my routine and then after a certain time frame we will see that the assistant is actually suggesting to start the routine when we jump into the car. Here we go. I accept it with a single touch and we see that the routine is being started and actual SLI is being deactivated. If I now also start using certain modes um, very regularly, the assistant will keep on suggesting to actually adjust those routines so they are actually a living um, feature and, and enhance uh, over lifetime to fit the user needs better and better. So if I switch to sport mode and do that very regularly, we will also see that the assistant is trying to suggest to add it to my routine. Here we see the example, add sport mode to routine. I can confirm with a press and it will show up in my next at the next start of my routine. All right, this is how we try to enhance users' drives even more in the future and hope to make it a more pleasant ride with their BMW iX3.